All right, let's sort out our chess business, shall we? Welcome back. We can't use our mystic eyes of chess perception. I'm ready. Let's do this. I have to trust my own in my own skill and use everything I've learned to defeat her. Excellent. We'll play one round. Let's set up the pieces and start the game. All right, talking, eh? No, is it the same variant board? That we had previously. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, so you have made an archer and a fortress here. So we're gonna have a fortress war over here. Hang on while I load up all of my archers. Sneaky. Let's see. See what game you're playing there. I'm gonna put you under threat. See what you do next. Wise move. This is gonna be a very aggressive, headstrong game, isn't it? Are you going to take the bait? You are going to take the bait.
I was gonna say, you could eat my pawn. I feel like that's not exactly an equitable trade for you. Play this game. The method behind my madness. What does this do? This makes things interesting indeed. That's right, you can only hit one space from your oh, why'd I do that? Not my smartest move in the planet. Yes, yes. Bonk. You're gonna feed me your pawns, that's fine. Oh ho ho ho. Capture. Alright. Yes, that's it. Ah, this doesn't make any sense. What's wrong, Miss Sakuma? Are you starting to regret playing against me? This. Ah. 
was supposed to work on you. Work on me? Could she be in her own version of the power that, that I use? Takane, did you try to control the outcome of a game with a special trick? For all that talk about winning with my own skill, you couldn't even be bothered to do the same. You're lucky the audience won't understand what this all means. I should have figured this would happen. As I told you before, the people who get ahead in this world are those willing to step on others to get what they want. But that's just wrong. What kind of good congressional governor are you? How'd you even get elected with that sort of thinking? Oh, you poor innocent child. Emiko, there's something very important you should take to heart. This is the real world with real choices and real people who are affected by them. In the real world, the good guys don't always win. Sometimes the people that acquire power in the society are the ones that let it, let it dictate their entire personality. The ones that needed to that needed to survive. Way to tell on yourself here. Absurd. After all this, she's still trying to justify herself? Won't let it stand any longer. It's time to show her who's really in control here and put an end to her grandstanding. I've had enough of this. Stop talking and make your move. With pleasure. Check. Played this game. Let's see here. I mean... Alright, well, that's, I suppose that was bound to happen. What sort of outcome does this create for us if we, uh... If 
if I say do this. Check. Ah. Right, I'm really there. Just a bit further and I can close this out. Ah, absurd. I don't understand why this is happening. You're just a student. Maybe next time you'll think twice before trash talking trash talking your opponent. Even at this wretched school, it seems you were still able to learn something. So much about Shinogi chess. You've got it backwards, Miss Sakuma. I acquired my skills not despite of this place, but because of Yoshino High School's unique opportunities. All those matches and situations I faced. They were tough, but the challenges present prepared me for the worst. The pressure of saving the school from Frost. Accusations I faced after the match with Azumi. The chance to prove myself against Mr. Cross. All those events led me to this moment. It's because of them that I was able to win against Kana and Kaito. In a way, my future was shaped by every opponent I faced up to those crucial games. And that will continue to be the case for as long as I play. Hmm. What exactly are you trying to prove? That Kaito can still thrive in this environment. He belongs here, no matter how hard you try to convince yourself otherwise. Kaito's skill in Shinoki chess is in everything. He was strong and always supported his friends. That's the quality you should be hoping for in your son. Not that he can defeat any opponent, but that he has the strength to play in the first place. Let's finish this game and see this through to the end. Do you want your son to be better than you? All right, now. I'm gonna lose my archer stack. Let's see what you do with this. Shot a check. Shinogi checkmate. Oh yeah. Get Shinogi Shrek mated. That's my official term for this uh for this uh, game state. For this game state. Pulling off a Shinogi checkmate on while being under check. Being under check, responding with Shinogi responding with Shinogi checkmate. I'm calling this the Shinogi Shrek mate. Put it in the Shinogi chess annals. 
put it in the Tome of Shinogi Chess, Shinogi Chess Lore. And we have a winner. Himiko Masaki just defeated Takane Sakuma here at the Shinogi Chess Arena. No, this isn't right. I did it. I actually won. That means we'll really be able to get him back. Ah, utterly disappointing. Kaito doesn't belong here. Not with you people. Not with his father. Are we gonna come back to you being just... This being just a divorce dispute? Need to ensure he gets a good education. It's over, Takane. You lost this round. I have the high ground. It's time to make good on your promise and cancel his enrollment in any other school you wanted him to attend. Ha! Huh. How foolish of you. I think it'd be that easy. What? This can't end here. It isn't over. For the sake of Kaito's future, I declare a rematch! You said we'll play one round. Uh, no? Huh? I said no. I won't agree to a rematch. You lost fair and square. There's no need to be there's no need for me to prove anything else. Miko is correct, of course. Without both parties agreeing, there's no grounds for a rematch. That's how things work here. No, that can't be. So this is really it? That's all I get? That's the only chance I had? You're the one who said you're the one who said we'll play one round. I'm afraid so, Takane. By law, you must comply with the terms you agreed to. But Kaito. He's my son. I just wanted the best for him. Did you ask what he wanted? <laughs> Pathetic. Absolutely deplorable. Hello. She still can't understand that being a mother is more than just securing your child's environment. Giving them freedom and the chance to make their own decisions is the only real way for them to grow. That's why I can't stand a worthless failure like her. Takane, your time is up. You're not fit to be his mother or government leader. I'll be his mother and I'll be the government leader. One way or another, I swear. Mind crush. I will remove you from office and make sure you never see a shred of power ever again. It won't be today or tomorrow. I will remember this. And one day, I'll ensure people like you can never hold authority in this world. We will see the end of your madness. That is what you've set upon yourself, Takane. Uh, your eyes are glowing. I'm scared. No matter. Thanks to tonight, this school will bend to me eventually. You'll see. It looks like that's all we have to that's all we have in tonight's surprise showdown match. Thank you one and all for joining us during that incredible game. Don't forget to tune in again next week for this school's implementation of the regional fall contest. I've been Machi Tomiko, and I'll see you next time at the Yoshino High School Shinoki Chess Arena. It was a long and taxing day, but in the end, I was able to stop Takane's efforts to send Kaito away. From what I understand, he won't be back in school until next week. But at least now we can finally rest easy knowing that he will return. So, somehow my mind kept lingering at what Takane said during the match. In the real world, the good guys don't always win. Is that how she sees herself then? A bad person who happened to rise to power within the government? If that's the case, what more could she be hiding that would make her feel that way? What could she be planning for the future? Generously, I could... Generously, I could give her the benefit of the doubt as far as, uh... On the stance of, uh... She was a good person, but being in the real world in the government, like, turned her bad. She did what she had to to survive in that world, and lost sight of the good that she wanted to do. And eventually turned to being the bad guy to make changes. I can see that. That's my generous interpretation. The answers to those questions might be unclear for now, but perhaps the more interesting interpretations of her phrase could be that it applies to me as well. In every situation I face, the influence of my other self has become a conflicting factor in my decisions. The fact that I can't tell when and where this second consciousness could dictate my actions is uh, highly disturbing. Though it's not unlike what happens to my opponents when I use my power. Maybe it's a sign that I've already become a villain. But I can't say that it bothers me if that's what, it's that's, that's what it takes to make a difference. That is a nice... that? Yep. The good guys don't always win. Though everything that's happened, everything has happened, my goals remain clear. 
will reach a position of power and change this world for the better. For that to happen, I first need to deal with the wings of Eden. Yuko will be expecting a decision, and I can't quite give her one just yet. Don't want to miss an opportunity to, opportunity to, to, to deal some real damage. So in the meantime, I need to conduct research and formulate a plan of attack. No matter what, I must not lose this chance to eradicate Yuko's terrorists and finally put an end to her pathetic life. It's acknowledging the growing negative influence of the, the mystic eyes of chess perception. Four days later. Hey. hey, does anyone know why they called us down here? No idea. Just about the upcoming tournament. Everyone was in their homerooms this morning when the school staff decided to hold this unplanned gathering in the gym. We have a gym. Nobody seems to know what's going on. But it must be important if they wanted all these students to attend. Oh, I hope the school is getting a brand new gaming room. Could it be? Exclusive preview of the latest poetry robot? Yes, it was also beginning to think a robot is more like is the more likely option. Everyone seems to have such wild imagination. Ah, I'm really getting excited now. And there's only one way I want to truly express my emotions. Oh, here it comes. Rocket of Jim. A humanoid robot roars above the short poem. Boo. Oh, the applause, my fellow constituents. I do it not for attention. For the love of the art. Don't think you had to worry about that, Genji. <laughs> My man really does fit in. My man really does fit in with a club. Oh, it's starting. Finally, they really had us in suspense. Well, time to see what all this commotion is about. And I have an unpleasant feeling that this is only going to make things more complicated for me this week. Welcome, one and all, to the gym. Yay. All right, fine. It's not quite exciting as a venue, but it's what we've got. The school board has asked all of you here this morning to welcome a very special individual back to Yoshida High School. Whoa, oh, shit, all right. Wait, what? Oh no, someone different? Exceptional student has been away overseas ever since the Sydney tournament, which was held back in February. Uh, student? He's been away for almost an entire year? Instead, she's taken on account the Shinogi chess matches across the globe and proceeded to win multiple awards during her time away. No way, that it has to be. Please give a warm welcome to Miss Sumei Kyoshi, the true Shinogi Chess Club president. We have a club president. Hello, everyone. I have to say, it's good to be back. Well, uh, hi. It's been quite some time, but I'm looking forward to catching up with everything I've missed these past two semesters. So this is the Shinogi Chess Club president? During the spring championships, Kana told me that the president was away at an overseas tournament. She's been gone for so long, I've nearly forgot she existed at all! I never would have expected her to return now of all times. I realize that this must be quite a shock, but I can assure you that Yoshino High School's excellence is still the biggest priority for me. It's my understanding that the advancement of Shinogi chess culture has been waning considerably since I've been away. That won't be the case any longer. Under my leadership, the Shinogi Chess Club will once again surge in popularity and propel the school into new heights. to the game that form this institution will yet again become the catalyst for a new era in Yoshino's competitive history. Uh, why is this starting to sound like the promotion of an autocracy? That's quite the speech she's prepared. I should be taking notes.
Not so fast, Genshin. Don't really think she has the best intentions for us. Oh, what makes you say that? Get the sense that she might be more concerned with our school's appearance than the well-being of its students. With everything that's happened, I'm not willing to just hand over the club's power to someone I can't fully trust yet. My, wasn't that inspiring. It's so exciting to have you back. Now, before you continue, a few words from our school's resident, Grandmaster. Students of Yoshino High School, this is Grandmaster Daisuke. Hi. As you know, the upcoming fall contest is an, even, is an event of great importance to the prefecture. Our version of it will be held at the arena. Just that saying that Miss Kyushu will be entering and competing in this short tournament to attempt her acquisition of the grand prize. Since the event is limited to just the students of this school, this is the perfect opportunity for one of you to prove your worth against our very best. Holy shorts! So you have the chance to defeat the president the president in the game? Well, no special prize will be awarded to the student that can best her. Holding your own in that match would certainly prove you worthy for an invitation to our exclusive Shinoki Chess Club. Ha! Huh. The odds of one of you beating me in the first place are astronomically astronomically low. Don't bother. Oh, please take that as a special challenge from Sume herself. Please join the fall contest this week. Someone sounding desperate. Let this tournament be the start to our school's redemption. Popularity we achieve through these televised matches will kickstart new developments for the Shinogi Chess Club's competitive future. In just a few short months, I foresee us competing with the best of the country and bringing Shinogi Chess back to its former glory. It sounds like our residents. Sounds like a resident star player has some incredible plans for this school. And I, for one, can't wait to see them come to fruition. For now, though, those are the only announcements we have for you. I do look forward to catching up with Miss Kyoshi in your classes today. I'm sure she'll have a lot to talk about in the coming days. I've been Machi Tomiko, and I'll see you next time at the Fall Contest. Thank you for this live PR announcement. Ah. Uh. Masquerading as a uh, gym class school announcement. We certainly had some strong opinions about our school's treatment of Shinoki chess as of late. What might be admirable to, to want to put our school back in the running for bigger events? What would it take to make that happen? On top of that, it sounds like she's hoping to take the Shinoki chess club in some new direction to make his dream come true. Sume Kyoshi, just what kind of person are you? <laughs> I can't believe she's back, it's been so long. Do you think I'll be able to get her autograph? Sumei sure has a lot of fans. I guess it's no surprise considering her apparent skill in the game. Makes me feel a bit out of the loop, though. Considering I haven't heard her name until today. Okay, now who would win in a duel? Kaito Sakuma or Sumei? I actually heard that both their families are politically kid back. Both of them. Oh, that's right. Were they childhood friends? Or something. Oh, alright. What? That's news to me. Figured Kaito would know a bit about her, but not like this. Now that she's back, do you think Kaito will ask her out? Oh boy. I'm I am I won the spring championships here. What about me? Uh Well Kaito wasn't in the spring championships. I beat Kaito. Well. Emiko, they've been waiting for you to arrive. Really? I'm not even late this time. Rumor is, a special someone will be visiting the club soon. That's why the others wanted to discuss things before she arrived. Oh, Sumei's coming here? That's gonna be awkward. She's the president, she's the club president, so... Thanks for the, head thanks, thanks for the heads up, Genshi. You should join us for, this, for the meeting this time. 
Oh, I wouldn't want to intrude. You're a true member of the club now, so you deserve to listen in. But nothing separating you from everyone else here. Well, maybe you need to brush up on your actual chess skills, but still. Oh, ah, uh, how? Okay. Too soon, maybe? I'll take your advice and stand slightly less far away this time. That's progress, I guess. I'll catch up with you later, then. Kana in the Kana corner. Hey, Miko. It's great to have you back at school. We've all worried about you. Yes, well... I'm just acquiring the latest news from Satome here. Who's telling him about your courageous battle with Takane? That's old news. Our pressing concern is about the gathering at the gym this morning. Yes, this... Yes, it was right. Very excited to fight. They meet Sume. You haven't... But I was wondering. Since you've all been in the club longer than I have, you'd know more about her personality. Not Yasu. Yasu is very excited to fight. They meet Sume. Yes, we know. Well, for me, I always found her to be pretty direct. She was never afraid to speak her mind, and she could be a little blunt. And she's the president of the club. I guess you can see why she'd want to micromanage everything and keep you all in check. Kaito, I actually heard a rumor that you two were childhood friends. Ah, you, you heard that. Well, it is true that our families would often visit each other during important government hearings. Sumei's parents are heavily involved in my mother's campaigning. They're quite popular in the political sphere. It's because of that connection that I spent a fair bit of time with her when we were younger. In fact, I often saw eye to eye with her on a lot of subjects. Oh, so maybe she isn't that disagreeable after all. So you're both famous, that's incredible. Uh, why is he always so far away? He's working on it. Hello. Oh, Sumei, it's good to see you again. Absolutely deplorable state of affairs. Uh, what? Look at what you've done to the place. What is all this? You mean, the decorations? I just thought they'd look cute. No, you simpleton. Who are all these people? Whoa? Who are you? For that matter, who are you? Who is this man? And what's his last name? Kana, is that you? What happened? This is the Shinogi Chess Club, I remember. Hold on a minute, now. It's been quite some time. I think it's natural for things to have changed a bit. I heard what happened while I was away. You maniacs drove this club's reputation into the ground. Good riddance, I say. You... I know what you did. Your antics during the championship made a mockery of the Shinogi Chess Club. Everyone associates us with terrorism now. Yeah, that was kind of the point. Pathetic. Have you no respect on the very people on the platform that gave you a platform in which to stand? Ah, well, that's kind of the point I was going for here. I'm positively certain I don't owe you anything, Psycho. Hm. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. And you, Himiko. Himiko, right? Do you know what you've done? Uh, not really? Instead of getting help for the school, you faced Kana alone in the spring championships. You didn't even advertise it. That, um, sorry? If you're going to take on the resistance at school, you have to turn it into a big event. It being the grand finals wasn't enough for you? You have to dream bigger if you're going to win back the approval you lost during these past months. Sumei, if you don't mind, let me go discover that the school itself was being influenced by the initiative. It's only because of the match that this corruption was properly exposed to the public. You can't blame her for that. Oh, Kaito, what happened to you? You used to be so determined, and now you're out here protecting worthless slime that doesn't deserve your respect. No, you can't say that. Isn't she the one that recently got you suspended from school? You've gone soft, my friend. He's firing on all cylinders here. What kind of leader is this? Enough of this. It's time to put it's time to pull yourselves together. Aren't you the one that started this though? Who said that? Who are you? Ah, Kenshi man. Never talk back to your president. Understood. Yes, ma'am. Sheesh. Is this what we'll have to deal with from now on? Himiko, it's my understanding that these people look to you for guidance, yes? They nominated, they nominated me to lead the group after last semester's incident. And who said you could disobey the hierarchical structure clearly set in place for the institution? Kana is the vice president. But didn't you just tell her off for ruining the club's reputation? What'd I say about talking back? Wow. 
She's relentless. Anyways, we need to prepare for the transition of power. Take a survey of each club member's unique situation and report back to me when you've finished. In the meantime, I'll be planning the rede redecoration of this room and the next wave of competitive events after this week. We're, well, don't just stand there. We've got work to do. The Shinogi Chess Club official meeting begins now. Disperse. Yeesh. Alrighty. Oh, here we go. What a momentous day. I know, it really has been a long, a lot to take in. Yes, yeah, so I'm excited to finally meet Misume Kiyoshi. She'll make an excellent president. You seem shocked that you were here. I'm guessing you didn't join the club until after she left for Sydney. Oh. Yeah, so I actually joined months before she left. I just never met her during my time here. So, she just ignored you all that time? That's right. It's a great privilege to be ignored by someone as outspoken as Sume Kiyoshi. He also thinks that her leadership could be just what we need to get the chess club back on track. You weren't bothered by your condescending entrance just now? Huh? Not at all. Personality reflects one of the greatest character tropes of all time. In the manga world, we call her a Sundere. Uh, yes. Thank you. Uh, suddenly I get the feeling I don't want to hear any more about Yasu's character tropes. By the way, since she asked, what is your last name? I don't think I've heard it before, so I was just wondering. Um... Why is, this Why is this a difficult question? Yasu. Yasu, Yasu? Eh, Yasu? Yasu. So your full name is Yasu, Yasu? Yasu, Yasu. Yes, Yasu. Maybe I shouldn't have asked after all. Thank you for uh, sharing that with me. No problem. It's a relief to finally tell someone about that embarrassing fact. Oh, I'm uh, glad to hear it. I'll see you later then. Yasu Yasu. Yasu Yasu. Here we go. I knew you left too quickly. I knew you left too quickly. Did you return to gain more insight about Yasu's personal life? Uh, sure. Why not? Just one fact, maybe. Let's see. Oh. Yasu is known for fainting during tough situations. Wait, what a ripoff. I already knew that. What else you got? No, you already told me that. Okay, Yasu. Sheesh. So. Ah, Himiko. It was quite the entrance for Sume, wasn't it? That's one way to put it. Was she always like that? I'm mm, afraid so. This semester of circumstances seem to have aggravated her further than usual. Wow. I can't believe Kaito had to deal with that sort of person when they were younger. We have a lot to discuss, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't wish to take up too much of your time. Don't worry about it. Went through that match with your mom, specifically because I value our discussions in friendship. Right. That's the, first thing I, that's the first thing I want to talk about. I'd like to apologize for not speaking up when things were getting difficult. Last week, I felt that I had to bear that terrible burden alone. I didn't want to involve you with the club with my mother's antics. I know that feeling all too well. It was very uncouth of me to keep all that to myself. Maybe with, maybe with some warming, we could come up with a plan. There's no point in thinking about what might have happened. We did the best we could to support you once it was all out in the open. And I'm ever thankful for that. It wasn't for you and my father. I don't know if I'd ever have set foot in this room again. Oh, right. Grandmaster Daisuke was the one that, who told us that Mr. Sakba was actually the headmaster of this school. Ah, figures. He's never been good at keeping things to himself. But don't fret. I think it's better that you all know my full situation now. Never actually seen your father on campus. Is he really in charge of everything around the school? He doesn't like to involve himself too personally with students and staff. But yes, he does oversee the school board. His position offers him some power, but he doesn't hold total control. Board members still vote on most decisions. So he still has to adhere to the guidelines set in place by his administration. That explains why he couldn't take any drastic actions in... Retrieving Kaito. I hope you don't feel any different than that, but you know, now that you know. I promise I did not receive any uh, special treatment from him. 
Not at all. There was one thing I was wondering about. I first saw the name of Yoshino's founder in some documents I found in the restricted display case at the library. In that same file, I found the documents exposing my mother's plan to bribe the school for protection. Kaito, would your father have been working with the Typhoon Initiative when the Yoshino High School was constructed? I had the same thought when you first uncovered that conspiracy. I'm sorry, I realize that might be a tough subject. No, it's quite alright. You know more than anyone about the sin that the sins of our parents shouldn't hold us back from making things right. Honestly, not sure what the answer is. I haven't spoken to my father much outside of emergencies. And without studying those documents further, I'm afraid it won't be easy to learn much more. After the events of last semester, the records were removed from the display case and submitted into evidence. They've helped to uproot corrupt individuals associated with the school, but that investigation has been kept under wraps for now. There is one person who might be able to help, though. Oh! The leader of the investigation team is looking into Yoshino's history. Precisely. Calvin Cross may be willing to share what he's learned. It's worth a try. I'll have to get in touch with him soon. Excellent. There's just one last thing I wanted to mention before you go. Last time we spoke, I had some pretty harsh words for you. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. Although it's been tough to process what happened, I do appreciate everything you did to get me back. Don't mention it, Kaita. I know you would have done the same. I'm not so sure. And do forgive me for saying so, but one aspect of this still concerns me. You seem to have sincere reasons for wanting me back in the Shinoki Chess Club, but I do hope you'll be more considerate going forward. What do you mean? Think I had some ulterior motive for playing at that match? Not exactly, but I know that when your mind is set on something, it's hard for you to think about the well-being of those around you. It's at least saying that in your journey to find your mother, you should try to ensure that you aren't pushing people past their limit. Though it may be hypocritical considering how I spoke when I first met you. Mem members of this club aren't just assets to be used. Hmm. I understand. Hmm. I'm sorry if I've been a little hasty recently. It's just been frustrating dealing with everything that's happened. And that's why this club is important. You can share your experiences with the rest of us so that they aren't facing anything alone. I guess you could say I've learned my lesson in that regard. It's time to start trusting each other with what's going on. Right. That sounds good to me. I believe our business is concluded. Thank you again, Himiko. I'll update you as soon as I can learn more. See you around, Kaito. Oh, well, you're back quicker than I expected. Is that a problem? Not at all. So, was that it? Uh, for now. It still feels just a little bit out of pocket. It still feels just a little bit out of pocket, criticizing, having everyone criticize Himiko for putting the club members in danger when she's been largely acting on her own. And like the one big gesture which put a club member in danger was playing in the match with Kaito. Sorely, Solely because of uh, Takane's offer to give her info on her mother. Like, that's the one openly selfish thing that she did, which I can recall. It's sad to me. I feel like it's been forever since we've been able to talk properly. And that, that's right. I was happy to see Kaito back today. Yeah, it is great to see that Daisuke was able to secure his return. Wanted to ask about something else, though. What are your thoughts on Sume Kyoshi? Did you know her before she left for Sydney? Oh, yes, I did know her. I've been a member of the club for over one year now. She kind of scares me a little. It seems like Satomi's confidence has been dropping ever since Kaito's absence last week. It's kind of upsetting to see. Especially after she worked so hard to build up courage in these past few months. Would you believe me if I told you Sumei was the one that invited me into the club in the first place? Uh, she did? How did that happen? It was a pretty desperate time for me. Starting classes here as a new student was also overwhelming. So we must have seen some sort of potential in me. I didn't really want to join, but she was so assertive. 
In the end, I felt like I had to attend the meeting so that I could fit in. Just wanted to be good at something in my life. Didn't really feel special. Didn't feel like I could live up to the expectations I had for myself after joining the club. To make matters worse, Sumei didn't go easy on me. He constantly pressured me to ignore, to improve. He ignored my social anxiety. Even though she wanted you in the Shinoki Chess Club, she made you feel uncomfortable during the meetings. And that's right. Today just reminded me of all that trauma. But like maybe I was finally past it all. That can't be the case. Right now I feel like I'm back to where I was a year ago. How can I feel worthy of being here with Sume back in control? You have to push past it, Satomi. You can do it. All it takes is to believe that Sume's int intimidation tactics won't work. You can be pre for influence for good. That's easy for you to say. Himiko, do you ever feel that the advice you've been giving me is superficial? What? First I wanted to believe that you were just trying your best to help me. The more I think about what you've said, the harder it is to actually put your ideas into practice. I can't just push past it and carry on like everything is okay. I can't just ignore Sume and force myself to feel better. The pain that she caused me was real. It won't be erased by simply turning a blind eye to the problem. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe it's not your fault. You couldn't have known how I feel. Maybe it means there's something wrong with me. Maybe I just can't fix my problems the way you can. No, that's not true. Whatever it is, I would just appreciate it if you'd take a moment to think about how I feel during all this. In the future, when I really need to talk about my issues, I would prefer you to treat my situation with a little more depth. Of course, I can do that, Satomi. If you don't mind, I'd like to be left alone now. Right. Thank you for talking to me about that. I'll do my best to convince Sue to ease a bit when I talk to her. That might be a start. Hey, all right. That's... That was very much an earned uh, bit of criticism for Imiko here. Oh, Imiko. I don't think I'm ready to talk just yet. Uh, my bad. Just thought I'd try. How about now? Ready to talk? Hey, Mikiko, Mikiko, please. Sorry, no. It was a bit too hopeful there. Alright. Into the counter corner. So, oh, it's you. Hey, Kana. Just wanted to get your thoughts on Sume Kyoshi. She's a piece of trash, just like you. Oh! And here I thought we were starting to get along. Both of you are so controlling, it infuriates me. I don't think I understand. Or Sume showed up, we tried our best to leave you alone. Oh yeah? Then explain the Kana camera, TM. Uh, that has to do with safety concerns, right? Then explain these signs that were clearly set up to mock me. Boo, go away. That wasn't my idea. How about I give you an example that was your idea? Like... Nearly killing me last week with that security drone. Okay, fair. You've got every right to be frustrated right now. Except I've accepted that I'll never get my way in this world. I'm resigned to stand here and power the rest of my time at this school. I can't accept this having to deal with constant annoyances reminding me of my failures. That's why I'm positively certain that Sume can't be our president anymore. Wasn't she the one that trusted you to lead the club in her absence? I thought you two would have had more in common. You forgetting the persona I kept up until last semester? Maybe that version of me would have gotten along with her. My true feelings could be more different. I despise her. She's the one responsible for perpetuating the popularity of Shinogi Chess at this school. She's kept this despicable game alive. The final boss of chess! Before I joined the club, Sumi must have gotten everyone involved with the tournaments and Shino other Shinogi Chess events. Makes me feel a little guilty. Since they chose me as their leader, I've just been focused on looking into traces of my mother. Hmm. Okay, that- okay, that- from that angle... From that angle, I can see why Kaito would criticize. It's less putting everyone in danger, but more just... not taking the club and its members seriously and just doing your own thing. I'm being to ask something. Why are you still keeping Okama around? 
You mean Kenshi? He's a member of the club now. Really? Would have thought that you'd dispose of him once you were done gathering your information. Whatever you were up to. He wanted to join? He wanted to join, if you can believe it. And he helped me with my research. It's only fair to let him keep his spot in the club. Wow, I'm surprised. So you can care when it suits you. I know I've been a little inconsiderate recently, but it's only because I've been so focused on finding the truth. Things are different now. I don't feel the same sense of urgency I did last week. What do you mean by that? Did you discover something important? Crap, I said too much. Yeah, you could put it that way. Right, well, to get back to my original point, I have no doubt that Kenshi will cooperate with your club. I do question his commitment. Is it because he used to be a member of the initiative? His contribution to our cause was minimal at best. That's why he was able to evade capture so easily when our group dissolved. There's barely any trail to follow. We were happy to have the help, but I don't think he truly cared about our objective. I just wanted to feel like he was involved. I think that lines up with what he said during our Shinoki chess match. So you think his approach to the Shinoki chess club will be the same? Can't say for certain. Only thinking out loud. It's having me wondering if you're willing to give something like him, someone like him a shot of redemption. Did you ever do the same for me? Yeah. Me personally, maybe after a bit of time, Kana. Yuka Masaki may have wanted us to cooperate, but I don't think she could have anticipated just how different our futures could unfold. If I had to make it more poetic, I'd say our destinies were fated to collide. But I'm truly sorry that our perspectives weren't able to align. Wow, I said something very poetic just now. Oh, that was creepy. Huh. I'm positively impressed, Himiko. You actually have the ability to self-reflect once in a while. Uh, where's my trophy? Thanks, Kana. Communicating like this definitely leads to a better understanding of each other's, of each other's desires. Whatever. Uh, more communication! Himiko. Hey, Kana. I guess you're not in the mood to talk. You've guessed correctly. That's fair. I'll just... Walk away now. Ah, why are you so cold all of a sudden? Okay, Kana. Lastly, Emiko, I'm glad you're here. Things are getting pretty dire back there. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on all this president business, Kenshi? Well, to be honest, I'm not feeling too fond of that girl. Yeah, not much of a surprise there. I'm sorry to deal with all that. Must be pretty crazy joining the club at this stage. That's for sure. I've been thinking. I'm not sure if I really fit in here. Huh? What do you mean? Kaito, Satomi, and even Kana. They're all leagues ahead of me in terms of ability with this game. Well, that's to be expected, I think. I had to deal with the same thing when I first joined. But I hear that you bested Tatsuno Frost in your very first official match. Uh, that's true. I failed to defeat you last week, and beyond that, I've barely played a single practice match in my time here. I've just been wondering... Why did you really pick me for the Shinogi Chess Club? What could I possibly offer to this group? Is it just because of my past? Because I was a member of the... Because I was a member of the Typhoon Initiative? Kenshi, you're worth more than the sum of your experiences. This really... <laughs> this really is, uh... Ding ding hello, it's consequences. It's true, I first invited you here so that we could discuss your knowledge about the shelters in Zone 8. Oh, that's it. I was in the shadow of my parents. But she went above and beyond to further our club's research by introducing me to Ayako from the Investigation Club. In case you haven't realized, we do more than just play Shinoki chess here. We use the meeting of the game to protect the school. The fact that you uphold your end of you upheld your end of your wager. So that you have the honor necessary for someone of our caliber. By playing in the first place, you demonstrate that you have the resolve to compete for something you want to achieve. Wow. It was quite the inspiring speech. Even if you did kind of skate around the core issue, I should have been taking notes. Again. But seriously, I appreciate that. In the sense that you're willing to give me a shot, even though I'm still a beginner. It's quite the eccentric group, though. A chess club that protects the school. I almost can't believe it. She did, did skate around the core issue, but she did kind of handle that uh, really quite well, I think.
It's a. Uh... Yeah, I admit it. She did. I suppose she could have directly said, "Yes, I did use you for information." I'm sorry. Skated around it, but came around and indirectly apologized. Do you want to ask something personal? Before we played our match last week, you mentioned wanting to pull history behind you, that you're searching for a new opportunity. So, what's the real reason behind you wanting to join the club? Our goals are completely opposed to that of the initiative. I guess you could say, I have the same goals as you, Himiko. Huh? From what I understand, you're hoping to make things better in our country by grabbing and gaining power through Shinogi Chess. If we, simply, if, if we simplify the details, that's exactly what the initiative was hoping to achieve as well. You're not too different, you're not too different from Kana in that regard. But she was planning to threaten the city with a fleet of security drones. Would never have, I would never stoop to that level. Are you sure? What well, Kana told me last semester, you seem pretty determined to take her down. Alright, maybe it was pretty cowardly of her to think about abandoning her by the book strategy in favor of more traditional warfare. Until that point, I believed in what we were doing. And you can't deny that Kana had the strength to do what was necessary to win. Can't say I hold much of a grudge against Shinogi Chess, but being part of the initiative at least allowed me to feel like I was fighting for something. That's why I think this club is the best chance for me to help in actually addressing the concerns of corruption in Zone 8. I truly respect those who have the courage to both stand up for what they believe in, and actually work toward their goal. That's why I trust you, and the Shinogi Chess Club, more than my own parents. You're not, af you're not afraid to act. So he does seem to have the same ideas I did when I first joined. I guess I'm not the only one hoping to use this game to shape the world. It's a common idea among the opponents I faced. Hmm. Okay. I think I understand. You're hoping to contribute to something greater than yourself for the sake of Japan. That's certainly one way to put it. I'll do whatever it takes to stay in this club if it'll help me become a better player. That's definitely an admirable mindset. Make sure you get more practice matches soon. That's all I wanted to ask, but I'll remember to, I'll remember to integrate you further with the club from now on. Your assistance is much appreciated. Happy to hear it. Until later, boss. Okay, I think that's everyone. We've got so many members now. This club is getting too big for this room. Here we go. Looks like you finished your assignment, right? Come see me immediately. We've got plenty to discuss. I should, I should talk to Sume when I'm ready to continue. I'm not ready yet. Boss! You don't need to call me that. Apparently I'm not in charge anymore. Oh, well, that's a shame. You shouldn't have to put up with Sume's arrogance. I think you should resist giving her full control of the club. I'm not sure if school will let me, but I'll see what I can do. Ah, old. Bing. There we go. That seems like a fitting save game name here. Hello, it's me, Consequences. Honestly? Yeah. <gasps> Last time we talked to Satomi about uh, the match where Kaito left, I don't, th I don't think I was entirely on board with her attitude in the matter. But I think I've come ar I've come around to it. Also, very much because this time around, she has a very legitimate argument as to uh, Himiko not actually taking her and the other club members' feelings seriously. So, all in all, across the board. Except Yasu. Because he's Yasu. He's Yasu Yasu. Across the board, it's a very good uh, intervention slash call out for Kimiko's lack of focus on the club itself. And given, given everything else, Involving the uh, negative influence of Himiko's Mystic Isa chess perception self. 
and her beginning to acknowledge that, a clear dilemma, the clear theme coming to light here of, uh, can you maintain your goodness and your morals and honor in the overbearing cruelty of the real world? Or do you have to do bad things to make change? Do you have to become a bad person to make, to hold any sort of power? I joke, I joke that Takane's whole presence in the story up to this point was a, uh, divorce dispute over the custody of her of the, over the custody of the Sakuma's child but you could see there being Takane being a bigger presence in terms of that theme is she what Himiko could become if she approaches her power grab recklessly can you only hold the power to make change by doing bad things, becoming a bad person. Is that what is also has also happened to Yuko since ostensibly abandoning the base after it was lost? As much as I was consider I was originally expecting the encounter with Yuko to be the end game. There's still plenty of meat on this bone for this for this story to go further. We still have an end game we're moving towards here. Still have a very prominent theme to explore here. I was curious to see how this develops in terms of Himiko's character arc. Until then, until then. <laughs>